Welcome to our new presentation. Our selected topic for today is blood pressure. In this video, we will discuss about guidelines for selecting cuff sizes for blood pressure measurement. In our previous videos, we have discussed about how to measure your blood pressure manually. How does your blood pressure change with aging? How often should I get my cholesterol checked? What should blood pressure is according to age? Different stages of hypertension. Symptoms and causes of high blood pressure and how to lower blood pressure without medicine. The links of all those videos are on the description. You can watch those. Welcome once again to our nursing exercise channel. If this is your first time here, we have a YouTube channel that aims to enrich your knowledge about your health, fitness, medication, nutrition, diet, etc. And if it is your plan to update yourself about these important issues for all of the important tips, advice, discussion and presentation, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on our notification bell icon. Let's start our presentation. Guidelines for selecting cuff sizes for BP measurement. The accurate measurement of blood pressure BP, is essential for the diagnosis and management of hypertension. It is emphasized that different factors may influence blood pressure BP, measurement accuracy. The main sources of inaccurate BP readings are related to the incorrect use of the equipment. An initial step in measuring BP is determining their appropriate cuff size. However, the use of a wrong cuff size to arm circumference AC is the most discussed cause of imprecise measurement. To avoid over or under BP estimation the American Heart Association recommended cuff size guidelines protocol. Key points in selecting cuff sizes for BP measurement. 1. Arm circumference should be measured at the midpoint of the acromion and olecranon. 2. BP cuff bladder length should be 75% to 100% of the patient's measured arm circumference. 3. BP cuff bladder width should be at 37% to 50% of the patient's arm circumference, a length to width ratio of 2 to 1. 4. BP cuff should be placed on bare skin. 5. Shirt sleeves should not be rolled up because this may create a tourniquet effect. 6. The most frequent error in measuring office BP is miscuffing, with undercuffing large arms accounting for 84% of the miscuffings. 7. There is variation in the BP cuff bladder length for adult and large adult cuffs, i.e., the bladder size for large cuff may differ between manufacturers. 8. Individual cuffs should be labeled with the ranges of arm circumferences, lines should be added that show whether the cuff size is appropriate when it is wrapped around the arm. 9. Information on cuff selection for patients with morbid obesity is provided in the obese patient section. Cuff sizes recommended by the American Heart Association. The size of the cuff relative to the diameter of the arm is critical. The most common mistake is to use a cuff that is too small, which will result in an overestimation of the pressure. In general, this error can be reduced by using a large adult-sized cuff for all except the skinniest arms. In the United States, the most widely advocated protocol for the selection of the appropriate cuff size is the one recommended by the American Heart Association, that today we are going to discuss in our video. Cuff sizes for newborn. Arm circumference less than 6 cm. Bladder width 3 cm, bladder length 6 cm, cuff sizes for infant, arm circumference 6 to 15 cm, bladder width 5 cm, bladder length 15 cm, cuff sizes for child, arm circumference 16 to 21 cm, bladder width 8 cm, bladder length 21 cm. 
cuff sizes for small adult. Arm circumference 22 to 26 cm. Bladder width 10 cm. Bladder length 24 cm. Cuff sizes for adult. Arm circumference 27 to 34 cm. Bladder width 13 cm. Bladder length 30 cm. Cuff sizes for large adult. Arm circumference 35 to 44 cm. Bladder width 16 cm. Bladder length 38 cm. Cuff sizes for adult thigh. Arm circumference 45 to 52 cm. Bladder width 20 cm. Bladder length 42 cm. If you have any query, please comment in the comment box and if you enjoy watching our videos please subscribe our channel to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Hit the bell icon twice. Thanks for watching.